What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Sibir and today I'll show you guys my predictions for the Europa Conference League, it's a bit late, the first games have already been played, but I started a bit too late with the prediction series, I already predicted the Champions League and the Europa League, link is in the description if you didn't check that yet, but now today the last and the third European competition, the Conference League. Um, I'll keep in mind the results from the first match day of course, but I think that doesn't change a lot of my predictions. So let's just straight jump into it. It's the third edition of the tournament, uh, West Ham 1-1 and AS Roma 1-1. So same as the Champions League and Europa League, let's just do it group by group. If you like the content, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So in group A, I think this is maybe a possible ending. Lille first, uh, Bratislava second, Liklax Vic from Iceland and uh, Olympia. Um, it was a close game against uh, I'm just call, gonna call it key. Uh, so maybe Bratislava will have some trouble also against Olympia. But I think Lille will top this group with no problem. And then it can be a close battle. But I think Stefan Bratislava should be able to get second here. But uh, yeah, as I said, it could be uh, difficult when these three play each other. It could be um, interesting. Let's go over to group B. And I think this is also a possible ending. I think uh, Tel Aviv and Ghent will go through. Uh, Ghent drew against Lugansk on the first match day and Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv won close against Breda Blik. But I think Ghent and Aviv, their names are big enough to go through. I think Ghent has to be able to finish first and then Tel Aviv second. And then I think Breda Blik is maybe still stronger than um, Lugansk. Not gonna lie, I don't watch these teams. I'm just basing this off knowledge how they did in the qualifications and what's... Yeah, what's their ranking in the competition? So first Ghent, second Tel Aviv, third uh, Breda Black and fourth Lugansk. Over to Group C. Um, Dynamo Zagreb destroyed Astana and I think uh, if they just prioritize the Conference League they will finish this group first without a problem. Uh, Pilsen won 1-0, uh, so close one against Balkani, but I think they also go through a second. And then I think Astana, even they got their ass beaten at the... Uh, in uh, Croatia, I think I still think they're stronger than Balkani, but it doesn't really matter because third place gets nothing. So first place Dinamo Zagreb, second Pilsen, third Astana, and fourth Balkani. Let's get over to Group D, um, an interesting group, really. It it really is. Um, I think the two that are now in the first and second place are the two teams advancing. They all drew a nil nil and a one one. Um, I think Club Brugge will finish first still. Besiktas really stole a point in that game. Uh, so I think Club Brugge will finish first, second Besiktas. But Bodo Glimt, they drew against Lugano, didn't really know how that game went. But I think they're still able to maybe get more points than Lugano in my opinion. So first Club Brugge, second Besiktas, third uh, Bodo Glimt and fourth Lugano. Over to Group D, we're halfway now. Um, a really group, a really nice group, but which with a lot of upsets. Liga Warsaw beat Aston Villa. I know uh, Aston Villa played with a yeah B team kind of. They're not. They didn't play with their best players. And Zrinski were nil free behind in the half time, and they made an unbelievable co unbelievable comeback and won the game for free against AZ from the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, of course, if this game didn't happen, I predicted before, I would 100% say that Aston Villa and AZ would advance but with this Aston Villa were rotating but I guess Conference League is a high priority for them so I guess they won't rotate anymore if they're struggling so I still think uh, Aston Villa will go through but seeing Liga Warsaw have that mentality I think if you have to go to Poland with their fans it's really difficult so maybe I want to say Aston Villa first Liga Warsaw second third Alkmaar and fourth Zerinski I think Zerinski a bit of luck was involved in the game um, and I still think uh, Aston Villa are just gonna top the group at home they will get 9 out of uh, 9 points and um, yeah as I said I wasn't really convinced of them and if you see Liga Warsaw what they can do they can make it as that really tough uh, over to group F which uh, Fiorentina was a clear favorite but they drew in Genk still think they, they will be able to top the group as first uh, Genk I think they will also advance a second, but Ferenc Faros, I think, is still a difficult uh, game, especially away. Yeah, Kukarici uh, lost 3-1 in the first game, so I don't really think they can be a big part of this group and they will finish fourth. So first Fiorentina, second Genk, third Ferenc Faros and fourth Kukarici is what I think. 
over to group G, um, which is also a really interesting group. Expect for Frankfurt, you always expect Frankfurt to finish this group at first, which I also think. But then Saloni, Helsinki and Aberdeen, I think teams that are really close to each other. It was a close game against Hels uh, uh, between Helsinki and Saloniki. Uh, am I saying it wrong? Saloniki it is, I'm saying Saloni or something. And also close between Frankfurt and Aberdeen, but I I don't know if, Frank uh, if Frankfurt rotated, I don't really know. Um, but I think Frankfurt first, and then yeah, it could be a close race. But I think Helsinki lost points at home against uh, Park, so I think they're not that strong. But Aberdeen have to see what they can do against Park in the third match they play each other. So I think first Frankfurt and I think Park will get it done. And then Aberdeen will finish for third and Helsinki, I don't think they're strong enough to... Maybe they will probably get some points, maybe a draw, maybe a win, but I think they will finish fourth. Then over to the last group, uh, where this is, I think, the ending, except for Fenerbahce topping the group. Uh, this is an easy group for Fenerbahce. I mean, the Turkish giant, I think they'll finish first. Maybe they win every game. Maybe against Ludo Goretz, uh, and if they rotate, maybe it will be difficult. But no doubt, Fenerbahce will finish first, and then Ludo Goretz second. You see, uh, Spartak Trnava is not going to play a big role. Lost 4-0. And Nordschland, yeah, 3-1, uh, loss against Fenerbahce as well. So, first Fenerbahce, secondly the Goretz. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really know these two teams. Um, so, I don't really know who finish, uh, will finish third and fourth. But I guess it's Nordschland and then Spartak Trnava. If you look at overall, then, um, a winner is always difficult to guess in this competition. Because you have also the third of the Europa League. And there's some nice groups in the Europa League. And if a... Uh, good team uh, gets third and they play in the conference league uh, yeah you can't really predict that no but if I have to do some decent shouts uh, Lille is a decent shout Dinamo Zagreb although I don't really know what the level is uh, from the Croatian giant against other teams like Club Bruges if they find their form um, Aston Villa as well of course same with Fiorentina but they weren't really convincing against Genk uh, and then Frankfurt and Fenerbahce might be a decent shout uh, don't also don't really know how to compare the Turkish division to the other competitions like Frankfurt or Aston Villa uh, and then of course probably some teams that uh, come out of the Europa League will be favored as well but it's a really interesting competition if you uh, look at it you probably only know two teams maybe from the from each group but if you look at these games there are some really interesting games let me know your opinions in the comments so I did now all the three European competitions if you like the content, I will really like a uh, like and a subscribe to the channel. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.